Hello and welcome to another Warhammer 40,000 Army Showcase brought to you by the Legion Wargaming. Well, once again, we are delving 10,000 years into the past. This is Warhammer 30,000, or as it's commonly known, the Horus Heresy. And with the roar of engines and the rumble of armoured treads, the 4th Legion grinds its way onto our channel. They are the Hammer of Olympia, the Sons of Perturabo. They are the Iron Warriors. This full army, utilising every unit you can see here and requiring multiple force organisation charts, is round about 9,000 points and was produced by the same chap who did our Horus Heresy World Eaters. And we must say we are very, very impressed with the level of detailing and the excellent standard of finish on every model in this force as we shall see as we take a closer look. This force has multiple HQ choices giving them some good flexibility and including a Praetor in Terminator armour, another Praetor or perhaps a Centurion also in Terminator armour and two Centurions upgraded to consoles. One is a Chaplain and the other is a Forge Lord and for when the Praetor is fielded we also have a Legion Command Squad who have a great mix of models. We have a limited edition Captain. Narek Dragor is also along for the ride and the Legion Banner Bearer has a particularly fantastic banner bearing the name of the Sire of the Iron Warriors, Perturabo himself. And with a couple of the senior officers in this army, themselves wearing the hulking form of tactical dreadnought armour, it is unsurprising that there are a lot more Terminators as well. Forming the core assault troops of this force, we have some Cataphracti. They have a mix of weapons. They can be fielded as a squad of ten, or split down into two squads of five. When they are a squad of ten, they will very likely be riding in in the Spartan assault tank which is one of our very favourite Horus Heresy vehicles it has a huge transport capacity it's very resilient it is of course an assault vehicle and with its quad las cannon it really is an absolute beast and as well as these cataphracti we have another squad of five as well this time they all have lightning claws they are a crucial assault unit and we also have another pattern of Terminator armour we have a squad of five Tartarus pattern again they have a mix of weaponry and that is a lot of Terminators giving this army a terrifying punch in close assault forming the main body of infantry for this army we have the 66th siege assault company spearheaded by their veterans wearing mark three plate and with a particularly fantastic vexilla they have the support of the tactical squads of the company. We have a squad of 10 with additional close combat weapons and three squads of 10 with their bolt guns. They will be unleashing fury of the legion, no doubt. They also have sergeants who have a mix of combi weapons and close combat weapons. This company also contains three tactical support squads, one with melter guns, one with plasma guns and one with flamers. There's a lot of flexibility there and they also have a Legion Assault Squad with jump packs. They can rely on the supporting fire of two unique Iron Warriors units which are the Iron Havocs. They are like heavy support squads from other legions but their host of special rules makes them even more effective. And this company of course has brought along its Rhino APCs which are fantastically detailed. It can rely on more supporting fire from a rapier equipped with a quad launcher which is a very appropriate unit for the Iron Warriors and reconnaissance is provided by a Sky Hunter jet bike squad. These are the infantry. Let's take a look at the impressive phalanx of armour that this army contains. One of our favourite things about 30k Horus Heresy is the number of new and unique vehicles that it has introduced into the game and this army contains many. We've already seen the formidable form of the Spartan but we have a lot more tanks as well including a Sakaar and Veneta which is an absolutely fantastic tank hunter and a Sakaar and battle tank with its array of weaponry no flyers or skimmers are safe 
and we also have some unique pattern Land Raiders. We have an Armoured Proteus that is a very good support tank with its Explorator Augury Web and an Achilles Alpha pattern with its Twin Link Multi Melter Sponsons and its Quad Launcher. It can put out a lot of firepower and of course being Land Raiders these are very resilient. We've also got a couple of flyers. The new Xiphon Interceptor is part of this force. We are very much looking forward to seeing what that can do and we have some aerial transport and a lot more firepower in the form of the Storm Eagle. Again, we cannot wait to see that soaring over the battlefields of the Heresy. But we are not done with the tanks in this army by a long shot. We also have two Deimos pattern Vindicators, one with the traditional Demolisher Cannon and one with a Laser Destroyer Array. That is another great tank hunter. We also have a Predator which has magnetised options for its turret. It currently has a Twin Link LAS Cannon and LAS Cannon Sponsors but it can also have a Flamestorm Cannon or a Magna Melter and we've also got a Whirlwind Scorpius which is a great variation on the traditional Whirlwind tank but these like the other tanks in this force are cast somewhat into shadow by the three Lords of War which really are perfect for the Iron Warriors we have a Typhon Siege Tank with its terrifying Dread Hammer Cannon it's a super heavy it's very resilient and it can blow huge holes in any enemy force and then we have a Legion Fellblade which has a truly terrifying amount of firepower as well and if the Sakaran Venator and the Deimos Laser Destroyer can't get the job done trying to knock out enemy tanks then surely the Cerberus Super Heavy Tank will with its Neutron Laser. These are a magnificent centerpiece for this Iron Warriors force and under the guidance of their Tech Marine, the Dreadnoughts of this army stomp forwards. We have three patterns of Dreadnoughts here, including the Leviathan Siege Pattern Dreadnoughts. We have one equipped with a drill and a claw for close assault work, and one with the deadly Leviathan Storm Cannon and Grav Flux Bombard. We cannot wait to see these guys in action. We've also got a Contemptor Talon with a mix of weaponry, one Contemptor with a Volkite Culverin and a Power Fist, one with a multi-melter, a chain fist and a melter gun. He is a tank hunter and we also have the anti-personnel fire of the third contemptor which has twin, carries assault cannons and a havoc missile rack. We've also got two of the Derrideo pattern dreadnoughts. They have a huge amount of firepower. One with an Anvilus auto cannon battery and a Olus missile launcher and one with the deadly plasma carronade and an Aeolus missile launcher. We are very much looking forward to seeing this Phalanx stomp forwards. And there you have it, 9,000 points of Horus Heresy Iron Warriors. We love the detailing on this army, we love the mix of units. Not for them, the massed ranks of Basilisks and Medusas. This is a siege assault force. These are the Iron Warriors who storm the breaches of enemy fortifications and like to get up close and personal with their Terminators, with their Dreadnoughts and with the supporting fire of a lot of armour. We are very much looking forward to seeing these guys on the table, we hope you are too. Thanks very much for watching, please subscribe to our channel and we will keep producing as many Warhammer 40,000 and Horus Heresy battle reports as we can. See ya!